This is Red Dog Terrain. Welcome back to the shed. Today we're building haystacks. I wanted to make some simple scattered terrain for an upcoming encounter in a field for my D&D game. I knew medieval people didn't put their hay in bales or roll them like we do now. So I gold filled it and this is how people without fancy machines make haystacks. They're simple and cute. I started by making one singular haystack and I learned a lot in the process. A simple circular piece of dollar store foam board made the base and I beveled the edges. Then I cut out a rectangle of coconut fiber plant liner and roughly separated it. The coconut fiber would add some variety and color and texture. Then I gave this cheap paintbrush a haircut. The bristles were a variety of length, not because I'm a bad barber, but just because that's how I wanted it. Then I mixed the coconut fibers and bristles together. This was my first lesson. I should have separated the fibers better. The coconut fibers clumped together and it didn't look natural. I saved the ruined paintbrush handle for later. Maybe I can make something out of it. Next, I took a two inch piece of twig that I found in the backyard and stuck it into the foam board and hot glued it in. Lesson number two, I should have painted the base at this point. Then came the fun part. I coated the base and covered it in hay. At this point, as you can see, it looks like my hair is a teenager, long and in desperate need of a comb. After that, I just kept stacking. I gave a little spritz of icy purple alcohol and watered down PVA, hay, alcohol, glue, hay, alcohol, glue. Every so often I would squish it down a bit and try and shape it into a mound. The children ran and hollered, gleeful yelps and high-pitched squeals as their father chased them through the haystacks. Round and round they went. He would have kept playing if he'd known that in a few short days his field would be the scene of war and his children would be just a few in the hundreds of victims caught in it. Wow, that got dark quick. Sorry about that. Anyways, I cut and glued a few twigs to make the supports. It was a bit of a guessing game trying to get these twigs to stay in and be at the correct angle. Maybe next time I'll hot glue the twigs on halfway through. We'll call that lesson number three. While I do that, let me thank the band IAH for the use of their music. The song is Sentado en el Borde de Una Pregunta off their latest album. One haystack would be kind of useless, so I made four more. This time, I was meticulous about separating the fibers. I also put everything in a bowl, and that made things much easier. Thanks to all those who watch and support the channel. Thanks for leaving a comment. Thanks for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. On a couple of these, in a few spots, I kind of bundled the hay together. It made it easier to put it all together, but it didn't look as good. It looks a little unnatural. And that is our fourth and final lesson. I cleaned up all the scraggly bits and added support. And with that, these easy but effective scatter terrain haystacks are ready for the table. <laughs> 